So welcome back aliens, this is Narvin Reddy from Theoretical Learnings and in this video we'll see how to multiply to matrices. So as we have seen in the theory that you can multiply to matrices using for loop and all those stuff. So if you have not seen the theory of this video, I will recommend, it, recommend you to watch that video first to make the better understanding of it and then you can watch this video. Okay, so in the theory we have talked about what is matrix multiplication, we have talked about how to multiply two matrices in maths and then how to, how to do it in Java, right? So let's try to implement that. So the example we have taken is with two matrices, one is uh, M1 and the value of M1 which will be a two dimensional array because when you want to represent a matrices or a matrix in Java, we need to represent with the help of two dimensional array, right? So we can define those values here, we can provide the static values, again you can take the input from the user, that's your wish, okay. Uh, but let me just provide those, uh, the value by default, we'll say 1, 2, 3, so I'm creating a 2 dimensional array with 2 rows and 3, uh, two rows and three columns, right, so we got an array here, okay. Let me get one more which is M2, in this I will, search, I will say, uh, I will create one more array here, okay, this is also a 2 dimensional array. This will be M2 and we need to make sure that the dimension, so if this dimension is to uh, 2 comma 3 and this is 3 comma 2, so you have to make sure that this one, this column and this rows are same, right? Uh, so let's specify the value as 7 and 8 and this would be 9 and 10 and this would be 11 and 12, okay? So once you've got these two matrices, let's, uh, let's calculate the resultant metri met matrix here. For that, we have to specify a matrix. The size of this matrix will depend upon uh, the number of rows here and the number of, col the, number of the number of rows in this block and the number of columns in this block. And luckily, they both are two. Uh, we can have any, anything, but it doesn't matter. So let's make it to two, okay? Now, uh, to work with any matrix, so it doesn't matter if you're working with addition of, addition of two matrix, if you're working with, uh, you know, multiplication of two matrix, we require a nested for loop, right? So we'll, we'll start i equal to zero, i less than two, again, i plus plus. So this value here, so this value here is dependent upon the number of rows in the resultant matrix, which is two, okay? So the i will go from the, it, it, it depends upon the row number. And we require a nested for loop inside, which will depend, the, the value of this j, or the range of this j will depend upon the number of columns in the resultant matrix, which is two, right? So both are two and two. And then we can, so what we do is, when you multiply these things, we require one more loop, which will be your k loop, right? Now again, we have discussed about this, why we require a k loop uh, inside this, in the theory. So I will again ask you, if you have not seen that video, make sure you watch that video first. And what we have done is, we have we required one more loop, which is a k loop, and we'll say k less than. Now this k value will depend upon the number of columns in the first matrix or the number of rows in the second matrix, which is three, right? Uh, that's three and then k plus plus. Now what next? Once you got this, you have to apply a formula, but to implement that formula, we require one more variable which will act like a sum, right? So we can take that uh, anywhere. Let's define it somewhere here, okay? Uh, I can take it anywhere. Let's say this is int. Uh, we, we can say this is int r. Uh, not r, int r, int r done, right? So we have to say sum, and the initial value of sum will be 0. And then somewhere here, you have to mention sum plus, uh, sum equal to sum plus, and then you have to specify the formula. And the formula is m1 of, you have to specify i and k. So k will become you know, k is the this this loop here, and this will be m2 of k and j. That's the formula we have to use. And once you run this loop, you have to make sure that you assign this sum to the uh, to the matrix itself. So we'll say m3, uh, not m3. It's r of i comma j. We can assign the value as sum. And then once you assign the value of sum, you have to make it zero so that you can start with a new calculation for the next value, right? So once we have done this, we'll get a loop, which is, we'll get the output in this loop, okay, we'll, we'll multiply those, these two things, and the output will be here, inside this R array. Now what we to do is, we just have to print it. Now there are multiple ways we can do that. We can use normal for loop, or we can use enhanced for loop. Initially, let's work with normal for loop. So let's take an array of, or let's take an, a loop for i equal to zero, i less than two, because that's the length of your uh, array, 
the number of rows and then let's go for number of columns which is int j equal to 0 and j less than 2 j plus plus right and let's print the value here uh, let's print in a proper format so we can say print uh, we can specify the value of m not uh, r of i and j okay we can also specify some space here so that uh, you know you can see in a proper format and we also need a space after the printing so after every line we want a space or a line, new line right and if I run this code you can see we got the output this is the output we, were, we wanted right so that's how you multiply to matrices in Java again we can print this this in with enhanced for loop if you know how to work with two-dimensional array uh, using enhanced for loop you can watch my video on YouTube you can just search for enhanced for loop telesco on YouTube you will get the video there uh, we can specify int i colon r okay int i array of r okay again if you don't know what is, how to use enhanced for loop just watch that video because i'm not going to explain what is enhanced for loop in this in this example just watch that thing there and we'll print uh, the j here and we'll provide a space we can provide one more space and then after every loop we want a new line so let's print a new line and if we run this code we get we'll get the same output right so we can print with using normal for loop or we can print with the help of enhanced for loop the important thing is this is how you multiply to matrices in java okay so that's it that's it on this video make sure you subscribe the channel for the further videos and do like the video if you liked it thank you so much for watching